Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to make a um, vertical lookup and horizontal lookup based on a specific uh, column or row values. So let's get started. Let's say that we have this table. Uh, right now I only have like four entries. You may have on your database you may have thousands of entries. So for example if you want to know based on the ID the hour of this uh, of these people you can do it uh, with applying two formulas and I'm gonna show you which so let's say that we want to find the ID 003 we want to find out what hour it has started or he has started so we're gonna do a new formula here, be a lookup. The lookup value of course is gonna be the ID. The table array, I am gonna select just my small table, but you can select the whole row, I mean the whole column here, like if you if you're working with a lot of a lot of uh, entries and and you don't want to limit the formula to just a specific uh, row number you can just do it like with the whole columns so so I'm gonna do the uh, this table I'm gonna press F4 to make it absolute references and here's the trick here on this column index number I should put 3 because I want to find out the hour but I want to do it dynamically so when I when I change the header here of, of this uh, of this uh, cell I want the value to change also so I'm gonna use a formula to make it happen I'm gonna do a match formula and I want to look up the header of the column that I want to find within my table and the lookup array is gonna only going to be the column labels only that so I'm going to make it absolute 2 and the match type I'm going to want I'm going to do exact match so close parenthesis and the range lookup I'm going to do exact match also I'm gonna close parenthesis. So, boom, there we go. I'm gonna change the format, and there we go. So now this formula is is gonna be updated dynamically. So if I want to change here the column, I want to put name. It's gonna display the name on it. Yeah, uh, if I have more columns here, like I could have hundreds of, row, of columns it is also going to change so this is a cool thing that I like doing I want to do a data validation I want to do a list the source is going to be this two and here if I want hour it's going to give me hour if I want name it's going to give me name so just do some cool format in there and there you go so now this is the vertical lookup with the other type of table that we have where the headers we have it on the rows instead of on the columns so I'm just gonna copy the same here for formatting purposes and I'm gonna do a new formula uh, so we're gonna do a horizontal lookup lookup value is gonna be the same ID 003 I wanna look it up on this small table I'm gonna make it absolute I'm gonna do the row index number I'm gonna do the match hour on this column well in this case it's gonna be row labels gonna make it absolute too 
I'm gonna do exact match and exact match here too. So hit enter and we have the same results. If you see, it is dynamically added to and it works if you change the ID to whatever you want. Now here on the on the uh, here on this edge lookup, since the table is going to be changing every time that you add a new entry here, you can do, for example, here on the table array, you can do like every like for example here. You just want this. You're you're only going to have these three row labels. But you want to select everything on the right with Control Shift right. It's gonna display the last column is XFD. So you hit Enter there, so that every time that you add a new value here, it is gonna take it into consideration. Daniel, for example, and here I'm gonna put 5:30. Yeah. yeah. So it is going to change and it is going to take it into consideration. Since you have added all of these rows, although they are blanks for now, but once you keep adding here, they are going to be counting on the formula. You see? It's going to be changing. So those are the cool tricks that I wanted to to show you today so we're gonna keep making these videos in order to in order to help you work with large databases and, and make it easier to look at values and stuff so I think that's it and if you have any questions you can put it on the comment box and um, I'm gonna be reading them and I'm, I'm gonna try to help you if you have any any more questions all right have a good day